guys I am back I know it's been a while since I made a video I have been extremely extremely busy especially trying to not fail nursing school so I hope that you can forgive me I have so much to tell you guys about this semester this semester has been tough like I'm not even gonna lie like I know that most of my videos I'm all happy and rainbows and sunshine and butterflies but I really want to be transparent with you guys and let you know that nursing school is not, if you don't already know, it's not rainbow sunshine and butterflies. It's more like blood, sweat, tears, poop, vomit. Yeah, I've had a, a tough semester. It's I would say it's been a roller coaster ride. Some good and some bad too. Um, I not only failed one exam, but I failed two exams I know right I not only failed two exams but I had two weeks where I was extremely depressed like I literally cried almost every day for two weeks and I was going through moments where I was contemplating like is this really what I want to do like I was thinking like okay I can just get a regular job and make my coins versus having to deal with all of this stress and nonsense also I gained weight like I've gained like 10 pounds and 10 pounds some of y'all may be like that's not a lot but I'm short so 10 pounds is, is 10 pounds 10 whole pounds but even though all of these bad things happen there were a lot of good things that happened this semester too so I can't wait to tell you guys about it so this may be a lengthy video but just hang in there I three classes this semester skills clinical and lecture okay so skills was awesome I love skills I always have loved skills ever since the first semester because it's when you learn what you're doing in the hospital and every time you test off on a skills you're able to do it in the hospital so last semester we did easy stuff like a physical assessment bed baths injections manual blood pressure stuff like that this semester, yeah, it was a little bit more difficult. We learned how to start an IV, how to do trait care, how to hang piggybacks and primary fluids, all of that stuff. So that made skills lab a little bit more difficult because the skills that we learned this semester could end up being a little bit more dangerous if you don't do them correctly. So our teachers were definitely on us more than they were last semester about learning and making sure that you have the skills correctly and for our skills final it was every single skill that we have ever learned throughout the first two semesters so you know it's not like you can remember i mean learn the stuff and then forget it like it's something that you're probably going to be using for the rest of your life so i love skills um i ended up getting an a in the class so that was that and the skills comps were a little bit more nerve-wracking because the teachers are still sitting over you watching you start an IV and you're like nervous and you're trying to remember the steps and it's just it's very nerve-wracking like once we got to this this level of skills you we were like okay can we please go back to doing stuff like physical assessment and it's crazy because you can definitely see how much we all have grown because we were freaking out over physical assessment last semester like that's like the easiest thing now so that just shows how we have grown clinical okay first of all I had clinical on Saturday I think that that is one thing that kind of added to like my depression phase because so Saturday is a day of the week where the whole world kind of relaxes. Everybody has worked throughout the week and Saturday is when everybody just chills. They do fun stuff. They go to the park. They go shopping. They do this. Go to the movies. And I am having to wake up at 4.30 in the morning to go to a hospital to work for free. So it eventually started to take a toll on me. Like I wasn't able to my husband's off on the weekends I wasn't able to spend time with him because I had to go to bed early on Fridays or him and my daughter would go to the gym and they would go to the park and do all of this stuff and I 
wasn't able to do that with them and my Sunday was gone too because I was busy doing clinical paperwork that was due by Monday so my whole weekend was gone and then it was it kind of made me feel like I didn't ever get a break because throughout the week Monday through Friday like I'm studying and doing school work and then Saturday I have clinicals and Sunday I'm doing work so think that that mentally kind of took a toll on me especially like seeing everybody else you know have fun on Saturday and I wasn't but clinical besides that clinical was amazing clinical this semester just really solidified why I want to do this First of all, I had the most amazing clinical instructor in the entire world. Like she was amazing. Like she was just awesome. This semester we got to go to specialties. For instance, I was in the operating room twice. I got to see a baby delivery. And I'm just gonna say that um, labor and delivery is not for me. Um, but it was, very, it was really awesome seeing a baby you know, be delivered, like, it was very interesting. Yeah, we got to go to different specialties this semester, and also, instead of taking care of one patient, we had two patients. Um, so we went the first six weeks, like, one patient passing meds, physical said pretty much taking care of our entire, like, our patient throughout the entire day. And then about six, between weeks six and eight, we bumped up to two patients, and we had to take care of two patients, pass meds on two patients, and, like, I, don't want to like brag but like clinical is where I thrive clinical what like y'all when I go to clinical <clears throat> like I'm beasting in clinical like I get there I you know get report I let my nurse hi I'm your student I'm gonna be helping you with your patients today we get to pass meds let them know what we're able to do and then I go greet my patient and um, get ready for med pass because we get there at 6 30 but we don't make it up to the floor till about 6 45 and some patients have meds at 8 o'clock so you have to kind of go greet the patients kind of do, do an assessment get your meds ready all of that before you know when it's time to pass meds so on two patients I was successful with that but um, the very first time that we had two patients was during the weeks where I was in my depressed phase and I wasn't very successful um, so normally when we were just taking care of one patient my teacher would come up there and I'd be like okay I have this patient he's here for this he's his meds include furosemide this is his potassium level he's on aspirin this is his platelet level we're giving this 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 because of XYZ and she, my teacher would be like wow like that was really strong give my meds BAM because our instructor must be present while we pass medication so the week that we switched from one patient to two patients um, was the week where I was, you know, in my depressed phase. And my teacher, she could tell. Cause it actually was a, a point where like every, like our whole class had like a dark cloud over them because everybody was kind of going through something. So my teacher, she was just like, you need to go in the bathroom and take a minute. And I was like, no, like I'm fine. She was like, no go in the bathroom and take a minute so i went in the bathroom and i literally cried like i cried and i kid you not like y'all i'm not making this up i went in the bathroom i cried for like two minutes and then i got myself together and while i was in the bathroom i looked at my phone and i had a message on snap and it was from somebody from youtube telling me you know how i motivated them and they watched my youtube and that made me cry even more like I don't really know how to explain it because in that moment like they were saying that I inspired them but it's like I'm not even really in control of my own situation in that moment but that was motivation for me to okay like get up like you got this you know so shout out to whoever that person was. I got myself together after that little message that one of my snap friends snapped me and after like, you know, a self-talk and we went out there. My teacher, y'all, she's awesome. She was just like, Crystal, you got this. Like, you can do this. Like, you're not one of the ones that I'm worried about. Like, you can do this. And she just spoke like words into me that 
literally just revived me and then from that clinical on like I have been beasting like I mean I don't want to sound cocky but it's like I thrived in clinical and I think mostly it was because of her like she was amazing like I I I feel like I do well in clinical, but when you have an instructor who's just so, just y'all, I wish that y'all could experience her amazingness. Like she was just so good. And she'd come around and ask you about your patient and she would ask you a question that you didn't think you knew the answer to, but you would think through it. She would get you to think through it in a way that you were like, I didn't even know that I knew that, but she was awesome. Um, so yeah, clinical was awesome. Um, except for having clinicals on Saturday, that was tough. But um, I think that it's a mind thing. Like once you get through, once I got through um, realizing that it's just Saturday, it's just a sacrifice for a short period of time. You know, a sacrifice to better yourself. So just do it. Like it's only for a short amount of time. Like it's only for 12 weeks, just do it. So finished clinical with an A and yeah. So now, okay, lecture. So our lecture class, we have to have a 75%, well, a 74.5 on an average of all of our tests including the final in order to pass we had a total of eight exams um so just like last semester when we took our test our test will be at 8 a.m and at 9 30 we had to meet in the classroom on that exact same day to start new content for the next um topic or whatever so the first two tests were were you know great passed them with flying colors so I'm like okay you know second semester we're going through pretty good like you know and then the third test which was psych mm -mm. so okay so you know when you're taking an exam and you can tell by like the first 10 15 questions like how the test is going and that's how I was like I was I wasn't feeling that great usually it takes me less than a minute to answer questions like if I know it I know it and if I don't I don't but that test I felt like it was a lot of them that I didn't know and I didn't really feel good about that exam so when I hit submit and I scrolled down to see my score it said 62 like a six and a two so like I was just looking at it and like I didn't really have any emotions and so when everybody leaves the test like we all hang out wait on classes starting usually we're not allowed to discuss the test like what was on the test but we you know can say you know our scores if we like and usually everybody's like you know what'd you make and I already made it in my mind like I wasn't gonna tell nobody what I made like I was just like yeah I'm not gonna tell nobody what I made because this is really sad and honestly, it wasn't that I didn't study. Like, I knew the content. It's just the test. Like, the test was... Yeah. So, um, when we, I left the testing uh, class or center and everybody was outside, you know, waiting. And, you know, everybody was looking kind of strange. And so, they were like... Everybody was like, what'd you make? What'd you make? And everybody... Like, people started saying that they, their scores... And, it, and I was like, oh, okay. So everybody's score was like around that, that, you know, some people even got lower than I did. Like some people were like in the 40s. So it made me feel a little bit better. Like, okay, so <clears throat> if you fail the test and everybody else passed, okay, then you you be worried or, and you cry and you be upset. But if everybody failed the test, then, you know, you're still mad, but you're kind of like, okay, you know, so that's how I was and so we went in the class and we had to start start content and the teacher she was just like I know you guys had a bad test but we have to move forward and we have to start this new content because that day was a Tuesday and we had another exam that following Tuesday on a whole nother you know topic so 
like it is what it is blood sweat and tears yeah that's what yeah um like it's not nursing school is not nice like it's just not it's not but so the next test we passed the next test i passed then we got to the the um like another exam and same thing like i literally studied my butt off of that exam and then we get in to take the test and i'm going through the test and i'm just like yeah i don't i don't i don't really like i'm i'm taking too long on these questions you know so hit submit and it says 62 again like how why i'm starting to really not like this number 62 and same thing when I saw everybody else made around the same thing. So at this point, you know, the teachers had to talk to us, let us know what's going on. So pretty much um, the first semester, their testing style is they're trying to make see if we retain the information. Second semester is more NCLEX style versus application, you know, synthesis, acknowledge, um, knowledge based questions. So it's like a mixture of everything, you know not just okay what is this it's like okay you have a patient with this 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 and you have to think about the disease process and what happens when they have this added to it and then you have to pick the right answer and then all of the answers are te technically right you just have to choose the most correct one so they were moving towards those type of questions and i think that we just weren't ready or prepared for them so that was that um so we had two more exams after that and I made an 80 on the next one and an 88 on the last one. So I was in pretty good standing even though I failed two exams because my other test grades were so high. So like I said, the last two exams, one I made an 80, the, the last one I made an 88. So I was able to make at least like a 60 on the final and still pass. So I was in good standing still. Um, so that was good. Um, so. For our final, we had to take the HESI, and a week before the final, I ended up getting this HESI book. And this book is so good. Like, I wish, I got it a week before the final, but I wish I would have been got, like, I wish I would have got this book the beginning of the semester, because it's so good. This is a good book, and this is a really good book. Because our med search book is good too, but but it breaks the information down as if you have never seen it before, so it goes in detail. These two books literally like find the key points of everything you need to know, which is awesome because when I'm studying, I can't study my med search book because it's too much information. So, I studied this book for about a week before the HESI and I passed it and um I am making it to level three, so I will be attending in the fall. I didn't fill out. I wouldn't change a thing because going through what I went through, it, it, it helped me grow as a woman, as a student, as a nursing student, and even as a future nurse. Like, everything that I went through was for a reason. Like, yeah, I had clinical on Saturdays, and that was you know upsetting but when I become a nurse I'm gonna have to work on Saturdays you know there's no you know I may have to work on Saturdays or I may have to work on holidays when the worst of the world is having fun but the thing about that is I'll be getting paid for it so yeah and when I was going through my depressed phase I was kind of sad because I felt like I was doing so much to succeed and you know we I was failing exams and then I was missing out being with my daughter and spending time with my husband and and you know me and my husband was kind of disagreeing at times because I was studying so much that I was not giving him time or I wasn't able to like do things around the house and like that's real like it's it's hard it's hard it's hard and I know that you know all nursing programs are different but still when you dedicate yourself to something so much like there's no way that you can spread yourself to to you know be everything a hundred percent and so yeah but you know all is well i thank god that i'm able to move to the third semester i only have two more semesters to go and your girl is done you know like that's just an amazing blessing coming from where i came from 
from my low GPA from nursing program telling me, yeah, you know, you can't, we're not gonna accept you to being a year away from graduating. Like this time next year, I'll be making a video about me graduating, you know, like that is awesome. I receive so much love on Snapchat. I'm on Instagram too, but I really don't post that much. But when you follow me on Snapchat, I try to follow you back. And I really enjoy, you know, watching y'all snaps. And I really enjoy the messages that I get from you guys. They really motivate me so much, especially when, you know, people, um, message me and say that hey i'm taking my hesse this week you know wish me luck and i give them my words of encouragement and then they message me a week later and say hey girl i passed my hesse or hey girl i got into the next program that really like does so much for me and i really appreciate it and i really appreciate the kind words and everything you guys really like motivate me more than you could ever know so I thank you and I'm sorry this video was so long but I have been gone y'all just did not know <sighs> this semester really tried me but we are moving on my summer plans include I want to get a job at a hospital as a PCA because they will hire nursing students who have completed their first semester of clinicals plus they pay really well for a student so I want to um, work in the hospital I am going to start my studying plan I don't plan to just you know throw away all my nursing stuff and then jump back third semester because that's a no-no so I am going to um, create a study plan plan based off of my HESI scores they broke down like my weak areas so I plan to do that um, I also plan to spend time with my baby Lola and my husband <clears throat> um, and I also plan to apply for a BSN program there's a BSN program here that will accept you if you have completed your first semester um, of your ADM program so I can technically already be in a BSN program that way when I graduate and I <clears throat> go look for jobs I can let them know that I'm already accepted into a BSN program that way they'll they'll be more likely to hire me also maybe they can pay for it I really appreciate you guys watching this video as always please leave comments questions concerned in the comment section please subscribe and I'll see you next time bye